Dear brothers and sisters, today's story is a tale of redemption that has touched the hearts of many and serves as an example of the transformative power of faith. I'm speaking of Shai LaBeouf, known to the public for his roles in films like Transformers and Nymphomaniac. LaBeouf had a difficult adolescence. Raised in a non-observant Jewish family, he only approached religion as an adult. Like many of us, he went through dark and tormented times, but he found light in the Christian faith. It was a question from director Abel Ferrara that changed his life. Do you know Padre Pio? Ferrara asked him during the preparation of his film on Padre Pio, while he was looking for the actor who would play the saint of Pietrelcina. At that time, Shea LaBeouf was going through a very difficult time in his personal and professional life. During an interview with Bishop Robert Barron, he confessed to having thought about suicide. My world had collapsed. I had a gun on the table. I didn't want to be alive anymore. Then, unexpectedly, the offer to play Padre Pio came along. It could be a way to redeem his career. I didn't know anything about God, he said in an interview. I was lost, full of anger and pain. I needed something to hold on to, a meaning in my life. To play Saint Pio, he agreed to live for a few months in a monastery in Italy with the Franciscan friars. This experience changed him deeply. Now I know that God was using my ego to draw me to him, away from worldly desires. It was all happening at the same time. I wouldn't have had the impulse to get in the car and go to the monastery if I hadn't thought, this will save my career. In the film, LeBoff plays Padre Pio, and immersing himself in his life, the actor began to learn about the Christian faith and feel its attraction. I fell in love with Jesus, he said. In him, I found the peace I had been looking for for a long time. His mercy has forgiven me for my mistakes and given me the strength to change. Seeing other people who have sinned beyond anything I could ever conceptualize and find themselves in Christ made me feel like I had found hope again. I started to hear the experiences of other people who had sinned and found faith. It made me feel like there was a chance for me too. After a turbulent past and serious accusations about his behavior, actor Shea LaBeouf has found the strength to get back up and embrace faith. In an interview, LaBeouf confessed, I think you can only find God when you are really suffering. LaBeouf asks himself how to make pain useful, a question we should all ask ourselves when we face insurmountable obstacles. It is precisely in the moment of greatest difficulty that we can find the strength to grow and give new meaning to our lives. LaBeouf's conversion was not a mere infatuation. He immersed himself in studying the Bible, diligently attending church and praying. He also had the opportunity to get to know the community of St. John the Baptist, an experience that deeply impacted him. There I found a family, he shared. People who welcomed me and loved me for who I was, without judging me. Leboff's conversion was not without its challenges. He faced criticism from those who saw him as an opportunist or a false devotee. Faith is not a game, he asserted. It's a life choice that requires commitment and sacrifice. But it's the best choice I've ever made. In the Catholic Church, Leboff found a welcoming family and a community of people who support him on his journey of faith. He has also expressed the desire to become a deacon so that he can serve God and others. My conversion is a miracle, he said with emotion. It's proof that God loves everyone, even sinners like me, and that it's never too late to change. LaBeouf's story is a parable of redemption that teaches that conversion is possible for everyone. No matter who we are or what we have done, God is always ready to welcome us with open arms. Brothers and sisters, if you too feel lost and without hope, do not be afraid to reach out to God. He awaits you with infinite love. Leboff's conversion is an example of how faith can transform a person's life. 
It is a message of hope for all those who feel lost and without a way out. Brothers and sisters, do not be afraid to open your hearts to God. He awaits you with infinite love. Now let us ask ourselves what we can learn from this story and how we can apply it in our own lives. Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more faith-inspiring content. Join our community of faith and prayer. May God bless us all.